guys it's been a minute on how to ruin video okay guys if you want to see more of these i will do more of them i know you guys like them um so just follow the channel we've got room free room removal coming up in a week the patch just hit a couple of days ago and this unit was on the patch so we're gonna go with this i've got a list of units that people have said in the comments i'll try to get around to them as well preferably not ld nat fives but yeah because we're just gonna focus on normal uh, mental because people have them right like the person that asked for Zerath, come in my discord tag me and i'll tell you how to ruin Zerath. um anyways coco just got a buff Coco, I've been using. She's already ruined my one, and I'm gonna show you how to ruin her. And see, yeah, the best way to ruin her and use her, I guess. I'm not gonna show you how to use her, but we can talk about how to use her. Mm, all right, so Coco, skill one, attacks the enemy two times. Let's find out what her skills do before we talk about how to ruin her. Attacks the enemy two times and decreases the attack power for two turns with a 35% chance, and that goes up to 40, 50. 65 with skill ups skill two attacks the enemy three times and leaves a branding effect with two for two turns with 75 percent chance each oh okay each each hit the cooldown time of chaos magic circle will be decreased by one turn whenever you attack the enemy target under harmful effects what i didn't know that chaos magic circle summons five magic spheres so it puts five magic spheres around it with each inflicting damage equal to 150 percent of your attack power you will get attacked for uh, if you get attacked from the enemy while you still have the spheres up uses one speed to counter attack and increase your attack power by 50 percent hp uh attack power by 50 percent and hp by 10 percent when you attack on your turn all remaining spheres will attack the enemy this thing can eat through anything bro i am telling you it can shred molly bro it would shred molly it would it would shred manon it would shred any unit bro any unit ragdoll leo doesn't matter what unit it is it will shred it and it's actually she's very easy to ruin because um first of all her guild leader is guild power 44 percent for guild wars guild content okay so the way to ruin her is basically attack 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 and you want her a little bit tanky especially now that she heals so it's, it's actually it makes her a little bit more usable and she gets 50 percent attack bar so if someone hits her she survives gets 50 percent attack bar and gets a turn and still has four speeds left okay so you want her ruin her attack 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 no crit rate no crit damage uh, accuracy for branding but she's multi-hitting with the spheres and stuff like that or skill two so not too much accuracy i think anywhere from 20 to 30 or 40 percent is enough because it'll apply per hit and then our resistance mm, usually you want to take over the attack buff or immunity you don't have to take over the my one here will shred something with that attack buff okay so here we go so we've got attack 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 i've built mine on the speed tick six okay so i usually use it with a riley and a nana you can use her with a Rakuni. You can probably use her with a monk like Hamunculus and Jemaya. But it's a little bit more tricky and niche. I don't know if you can actually. Because it's very, very tricky. But you can use her with a Rakuni. You can use her with a speed lead and a Teon to boost her up with attack buff like a Lucian does. Uh, but you want her to move first before the Teon. So you can you can you can put her on swift. Attack, attack, speed, attack, attack. And what you want for additional damage is pure additional damage by attack okay just pure additional damage by attack let me see if i got better ones because i ruined it ages ago and i was using her okay so i can i can go pure yeah okay good enough i think so you want her like that you want to aim for at least 15 plus k hp and you want to at least aim to about 600 defense you want to aim about 2000 attack and crit rate you don't need crit damage you don't need that's it. That's how you ruin her. You can put on swift. Don't put on rage. You can put on swift. You can put on violent. If she violent procs, man, these cooldowns are pretty low, bro. This gets um decreased cooldown as well with this. If you have like branding and then you hit it and then it decreases the cooldown. Um, you can put on swift where she moves, uses skill three, and then Rakuni follows up and buffs her. I'm telling you, bro. You know what? Let me just. <laughs> Let me just quickly show you, bro. Let me just quickly show you, all right? Look, look, look. Um, Right here. Let me just get my Nigon. Right? Nigon. 
Nikon HP leads. He's got about 45, 45. He's about 50k HP. Test. Yes, we just want to test. All right, watch this. Watch this. Okay, skill three. Boom. And then puts brand in and then, oh, I didn't kill him. Could have killed him if I had the attack bar. She's really good. <laughs> I like to use it with Riley and Nana though, because I just this, that survivability. But now with the buff, I don't have to use her with um, Nana because she gets the attack bar and she gets the healing and stuff like that. Okay, that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, write down in the comments what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. Yalla, bye.